air. Uh, where are you right now, Ben? And I see some people boarding up behind you. Yeah, Lourdes and Joe, we're in North Riverside, just past the North Riverside Mall. And while things have been quiet for a little bit, we actually just saw about a dozen squad cars uh, shoot east on Cermak, heading east of Harlem. Lights and sirens. We don't know where they're headed right now, but I can show you that the cleanup has begun here. This is a coal store uh, that was looted here in North Riverside. Uh, people got away with uh, clothes, some electronics, even some shoes. And now you can see uh, this board up crew is hard at work. Secure Securing the store. Police have been uh, blocking access to this parking lot for the last several hours now to make sure more people uh, don't come in and try to take advantage uh, of the situation because it's not just this coal store. Uh, we've got a Best Buy and a Petco uh, with uh, broken windows. Uh, in some cases, uh, those metal security gates uh, that were rolled down, those were just bent away and people broke in. Also, a Benny's beverage just down the block uh, got broken into as well. I want to show you some video that uh, WGN photographer D'Angelo shot in Elmwood Park. It'll give you an idea just how brazen some of these bad guys are as our photographer was recording video of this Boost Mobile store that had been looted. The presence of a camera didn't stop more looters from taking part, uh, climbing through and stealing more electronics. Uh, I did talk to Cook County Sheriff Dom Dart earlier. Uh, his men and women from the Sheriff's Police have been backing up officers not only in the city of Chicago, but also in the west and southern suburbs. Here's what he had to say. But there is definitely a great deal of coordination going on here because clearly just from the folks I talked to here from this disaster, uh, they, there was definitely organization going on there. And there was people that were absolutely you know, organized, knew where they were going, what their next target was, and they were trying to rally together. And do you have a sense, maybe it's too soon, do you have a sense, is it people from the city coming out to the suburbs or these suburbanites that are doing this? It's it's a mixture. We definitely have indications that some of the, the ones out here were from the suburbs. So it wasn't as if there's this one, you know, monolithic group of people. So it's definitely people who are taking advantage of the situation. And mm -hmm. honestly, God, it, it's so despicable. I mean, the peaceful protesters have been doing their best to raise issues that need to be raised. And these, these t t t terrorists are out here now doing these horrific things. I mean, at a time coming out of the COVID, these poor business owners as it is, were barely getting by, and now they're having all their products stolen. The Cook County Sheriff there calling these looters terrorists. To tell you how quickly they scattered when police arrived, uh, our WGN photographers, when they rolled up, they actually saw a, a brand new laptop in the parking lot that had been discarded. Here outside the Coles, uh, you can see parts of the store inventory just scattered across the parking lot. A teddy bear, some brand new shoes, a polo shirt, and a whole bunch of these uh, Cubs shirts. Uh, just dropped as the looters uh, took off as police responded. Uh, we've got a lot more um, damage uh, throughout several suburbs, including a CVS store here in North Riverside. Uh, we saw a jewelry store that had its uh, windows broken and some items stolen uh, next door in Berwyn. Also, we mentioned that incident in Elmwood Park. Also, uh, this afternoon, Orland Park police had reported that there uh, had been some uh, activity at the Orleans Square Mall. We have not been able to reach Orland Park Police uh, for confirmation on that or word of any other arrests. Uh, also at River Oak Shopping Center in South Suburban Calumet City, there were also reports of looting. In Oak Brook, I talked with the police there earlier. They told me they had reports of a uh, store window broken and a retail theft, uh, but very quickly they shut down that mall brought in those big cement barricades to block access to uh, the parking lot and the outlots around the Oak Brook Mall. And that, they said, uh, has uh, secured that property. That's the latest from North Riverside. We'll send it back to you, Joe and Lourdes. Ben, stay with us here for a little bit and let's chat with you about uh, what's going on for some of these local smaller law enforcement departments or police departments. Uh, as you talk to them, how are they managing some of the looting that's going on, some of the different locations? Do they feel at this point like they have the resources to handle it if this goes on for, let's say, a few days? 
That's a great point, Lourdes, because some of these smaller suburbs may only have, you know, a handful of officers on duty at any one time. But after seeing events unfold in Chicago, uh, I've talked with several suburban chiefs who told me uh, that they canceled days off. They brought in extra officers today because uh, they didn't want to get uh, caught uh, outmanned uh, in a situation like we saw last night in Chicago. But yes, yeah, some of these suburban departments, they do need backup. We have seen uh, the Cook County Forest Preserve Police providing some well, security here in North Riverside. I mentioned the Cook County Sheriff's Office providing backup in the western and southern suburbs. Uh, in addition to the city of Chicago, we've also seen a couple of Illinois State Police cruisers out and about. But as you can imagine, law enforcement, you know, across the region it has been taxed and the bad guys know it. You know, let's let's not make a mistake about this. These were not uh, protesters who were protesting George Floyd. These were people who understood that law enforcement was stretched thin and decided to take advantage of it by going out and looting. Opportunists for sure. Ben, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in North Riverside.